Do you see that? That is Jedi Fallen Order, the game that refused to work, working again on my GPU. So you bought a 5700 XT, and you've run into issues. The screen turns black, the computer doesn't crash, and unfortunately, you have to restart your entire system. And it's frustrating, annoying, that these drivers continue to have these issues, update after update. Well, I'm here to tell you that I have a fix that I've used twice, both times completely working and reducing my issues all together. Right now, we've got Wallpaper Engine, and we've got Google Chrome with its hardware acceleration, meaning we have everything set the way AMD doesn't necessarily want it. Technically, that runs in game mode, and that right there is running off of hardware acceleration. So, let's dive into what we did to fix it and how we know it's actually fixed. Let's start off with the list of issues that appear when you're using the drivers and they're bugged out. The one that I mentioned in the beginning, it creates a black screen. That black screen then uh, unfortunately doesn't come back. Your drivers just stop. They don't work at all and you're stuck with hearing the audio. You can tell that your PC hasn't crashed, but you can't do anything. When that happens, unfortunately, you have to restart. Another issue is there's no way to get a verified time spy run. This is something that's actually very specific to benchmarking, so I know a lot of people don't necessarily have access to it. And this is actually what led me to find the solution. You see, Time Spy was reporting that there was a tessellation error occurring every time that the card was running, which made my results invalid. I didn't set the tessellation to anything different, but my Navi GPU was doing it on its own. And then finally, some games would just refuse to run. Jedi Fallen Order is a perfect example of a game that just wouldn't run at all. Since then, I have reinstalled and tested and it's now working. So we know we've fixed something, but what did we do to fix it? I mean, I didn't even re-download the drivers and I didn't even DDU them this time. So what happened? So, you may have made tiny, tiny little mistake when downloading your drivers and installing them. It's such a small mistake that honestly, I can't blame many of you for making it because I made it twice. <laughs> when you install your drivers, AMD specifically asks you the question, what are you doing with these drivers? They give you three boxes and one's gaming, one's performance, and the other one is standard. You most likely selected gaming, because let's face it, it's a gaming GPU. <laughs> if you're gonna do performance stuff, you might as well get a Vega. So it's a, it's a gaming GPU, so most of us are gonna select the box that says gaming. Don't do that, because that seems to be the root of all of my issues. So what happens when you select the gaming box is it actually sets everything to the gaming preset. This turns on Radeon Boost by default, it turns on Radeon Image Sharpening by default. And because of that, unfortunately, and this is a really big unfortunately, every game that launches on your PC will be under those presets. And a lot of them don't like it. In fact, actually so much so that Unreal actually directly mentions it inside their patch notes that using the Radeon Boost settings can actually interfere with the engine considerably. So, unfortunately, it seems that that is the root problem, is that once we start editing tessellation, then certain engines just break. But you would think you could just turn it off and it would just go away. But you can't. And this seems to be the issue with the driver. As you see, once you set it to game mode, it can never turn off certain features. Even though you can click the slider saying that the feature is off, it will not turn it off. So, what you need to do to fix it is you're gonna need to reinstall. So let's go ahead and go over that. 
if you are installing drivers for the first time, you're gonna to need to download the Radeon driver software package from AMD. Get the newest one because this is actually the one that has the best features when it comes to installing it. If you are fixing your drivers, still download the newest version of the launcher because there's a really cool feature that we're gonna talk about in a second. If you're coming from NVIDIA, download something called DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller. You're gonna want this because NVIDIA drivers actually can cause issues with AMD drivers if they're not uninstalled properly. The first time I had to fix my card, it actually had a lot to do with the fact that I was running a uh, GeForce driver before my AMD driver. So if you are coming from the NVIDIA drivers, restart your computer into safe mode and use DDU. This will allow you to remove your NVIDIA drivers completely and it will give you a clean start. If you are running your AMD drivers and you're just trying to repair them, go ahead and start running the new driver package. When it comes to installing, it's actually gonna prompt you with a question. Clean install, custom install, and then if you click, there's a little down arrow, factory reset. Click the box that says factory reset and then continue through the prompt. What this will do is this is actually an AMD specific DDU and it's built right into the software. You need the newest version though, because unfortunately it doesn't work right in the other versions of the software, but it does work well in the latest version of the driver installer. After you let that run, it's going to boot itself back up and go back to the installer. If you are coming clean from a clean install, go ahead and run your AMD installer now and run Express Setup. It's then going to ask you, that question, gaming, performance, or standard. Select the standard option. This automatically turns everything off. No virtual super resolution. It turns off the Radeon Boost. It turns off the Radeon Image Sharpening. All of the things that were causing issues, it turns them off by default. Then, let it install, and everything should be working like this. You'll know because you'll be able to open up Wallpaper Engine and YouTube with hardware acceleration at the same time. You'll know because you'll be able to launch Jedi Fallen Order if you have that game. You'll know because if you run Time Spy, you'll get a valid result. Essentially, what has happened is AMD put a feature into their drivers that wasn't compatible with most games. And unfortunately, due to the way that the drivers are set up, you can't fix it in the drivers without reinstalling them. I hope that this helps you guys, honestly, because it's sad that I have to make this video, that this wasn't in the patch notes. They told you to turn off hardware acceleration and that helps, but it doesn't fix all problems because there are things that have to run with hardware acceleration. It was so frustrating trying to figure this all out. And yet the solution was simple. I hope this helps you guys. I hope that your Navi GPUs are now working properly if you try this. Honestly, it's super simple. The easiest thing to do is DDU, reinstall, and turn, make sure it's set to standard. Something else to avoid, do not use virtual super resolution. I've actually used this feature in the past. I actually like this feature, which is why it sucks that I can't use it. What virtual super resolution does is I have a 1080p and a 1440p monitor. I could tell the 1080p monitor to essentially scale up to 1440p and then shrink down to 1080p on the pixels. And it would match, you know, size to size, and there'd be like a little bit of like blurriness on the 1080p one, but it's not used for gaming. It's literally there as a second monitor. So I can't use that feature because there are bugs in that feature. So essentially the drivers are still buggy, but doing this will at least fix it for gaming and production. I actually uh, used Unreal Engine for eight hours cons consistently, like all the way through yesterday. And I recorded and I made it into this whole thing. So I know for a fact that I've stabilized my drivers particularly. And every time I've ever had to do it, I had to make sure that everything was set to standard or tell it that I'll set it up later. So 
In conclusion, try this. If it doesn't work for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, like, it's sad that we're in this situation because it's been more than six months with these GPUs. I'm going to leave a step-by-step -step tutorial in my description. I'm going to write it out. I'm going to make each individual lines so that you guys can follow along if you couldn't follow along with the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wolfie, out.